Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hassan, and today we are going to allow user to submit post from front end to our website. Before starting work, it's my request. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Now back to our work. So we are going to install plugin. On left side you see plugin. So click on add new. And in search plugin, right user submitted post. So user can submit post from front end. So this is plugin we will use. So click on install now, and then click on activate it. So plugin activated now. So scroll down on left side you see setting. Hover on it, then you see user submitted post. So click on it. Now user submitted post section is open, and scroll down. Here you see plugin setting, display the form, and restore default. So open plugin setting. and then you see configure your setting for user submitted post so this is form field now you see user name and drop down enable and require enable but do not require and disable the field so select option enable and require then you see user name so enable and require field if you want you can enable user url or disable so you can select according to your requirement and then you see post title so enable and require tag also now post category enable and require now you see post content enable require custom field disable this field challenge question enable require and google recaptcha if you want you can enable this and now post image so enable post image now you see general setting note that the default setting work fine for most cases now you see form style so you can set form style according to your requirement now you see html5 form recommended html5 form plus disable css so you can select option according to your requirement and include javascript and post type wp post or wp page so post now post status pending so you can select option according to your requirement so i select pending default and then if you want you can add url after submission and this is success message and error message so you can change message according to your requirement now scroll down enable this text editor so enable this option and now you see unique title required submitted post title to be unique if you want you can enable this option so it will prevent multiple or duplicate submitted post So enable this option. Now you see privacy. So if you want, you can disable IP tracking. Now you see by default, USP record the IP address with each submitted post. Check this box to disable all IP tracking. So if you want, you can disable IP tracking. Also disable check box. Now you see check box name. And now you see category and tags. so multiple categories so enable user to select multiple categories now you see hidden default categories if you want you can enable use existing tag and now you see users assign author and drop down we have to author so you can specify the user that should be assigned as author for submitted post so you can select author according to your requirement currently everyone submit the post in wordpress website if you want only login user can submit the post then you can enable this option registered user name registered email user profile required user login if you want user to be login to wordpress to view submit the form currently i disable this option so everyone submit the post in wordpress website from front end form if you want you can disable this option and enable check box only require user login to submit form and now you see disable replace author and now custom field so we already disable this field on form and this is challenge question and if you want you can add google recaptcha and email alert now you see images upload so feature image so you can set submitted images as feature image and you can add default feature image also if user don't select feature image then you can add some url here so that image considered as feature image now you see upload message so you can add message according to your requirement and here you see minimum number of image zero so maximum 
number of image one so you can set according to your requirement also you can set image width image height and maximum image width and maximum height now you see auto display content so do not auto display submitted images so you can do setting according to your requirement and scroll down you see auto display name and now click on save setting now setting save and scroll down you see display the form so open this now you see user submitted post short code so you can use this short code to display the form on any wordpress post or page so copy this and go to pages now page section is open and scroll down you see post submission so click on edit so we are going to add short code in post submission now paste code here and then click on update so user can see form to submit post from front end so page updated now now go to plugin setting and here you see login register form so you can use this short code to display the form on any wordpress post or page so first user login and then see form to submit post also now you see display submitted post so you can use this short code to display list of submitted post on any wordpress post or page and also you see other short codes so you can use short code according to your requirement now open page now post submission form is open so you can fill this form now you see i fill form name email url post title tags and submit post from front end so this is rich editor and upload image and then click on submit form now you see success thank you for your submission so our post is submit now so go to dashboard again now open post now you see our post submission from front end web task with asan author web task and tag so now publish it so currently is pending now click on quick edit and then status publish and click on update now post is published so go to web page and open blog page now you see this is post we submitted from front end without user information or user login web task with asan now you see web task date category and tags we added so open this post now you see image and text here submit post from front end so this post from front end submit without login if you want you can enable login also so go to plugin setting and now in plugin setting now you see user and require user login so enable this option require user to be login to wordpress to view submit the form so scroll down and click on save setting now setting save and open web page again now you see post submission page please login to submit content so when person login then person submit the post from front end so i hope you like this video please like comment share subscribe thank you for watching